Hi folks, welcome to my Epit Retro Journal. Um, this is a quick clip, five minutes or less. Um, it's summertime and yet I'm sitting inside coding. Um, it's not at night, it's actually during the day, but it's a rainy day today. So I decided to um, get my old Tommy Sinclair 1000 um, a try. And actually what I'm doing, <clears throat> the program here is actually from this book here by Tony Baker. This was the first book I actually purchased uh, as a teenager for the uh, uh, my ZX81. Remember, if you watch my videos, I actually had a ZX81, not a Time of Income 1000 that I bought. Mail order from Nashville, New Hampshire. It came in a brown box, no styrofoam, which I really like, um, from Sinclair USA. Um, and uh, But then I bought this book, and I don't know where I found this book. I mean, back then you got little um, catalog thingies or... They were cheap paper catalogs. Maybe this was in there. <clears throat> and I don't know what intrigued me about this, but I ended up buying it. Twelve ninety five. It was actually, I lived in Virginia at the time, and this was actually published in Reston, Virginia, but I don't think that had anything to do with me buying the book. I don't think I saw it in the, um, I don't think I saw it in the bookstore. I think I <clears throat> purchased this also mail order. In any case, um, this book opened my eyes to the, um, Timex Sinclair 1000, or the ZX81 and the Timex Sinclair 1000, because it talked about a second um, second language inside the computer, and that just fascinated me. But I've been going through this book, so um, I've got, uh, right now I've typed in uh, this piece of code, which is on the screen, which is a little uh, machine code loader. Um, unlike uh, other techniques that I remember using, which was a REM statement, um, this one just sets aside some memory uh, at the top and just pokes into that memory. In this case, for a 1K system, it sets aside memory 17325. That's where it starts poking uh, into memory. And um, uh, and it only has... Well, it's funny. The, the book talks about 1K, 4K, and 16K. I didn't know there were 4K RAM packs. And it also talks about old and new ROM. I'm going to assume this is new ROM, but I don't know why they have 4K instead of 2K. <clears throat> so I'm using the 1K, figuring out I have enough with a 2K uh, machine. Like I said, back in the day, I actually had an actual ZX81, so the 1K would have worked. Um, and in here, in this book, I actually have a bunch of listings of old programs on my um, uh, ZX printer. Now, if you saw my channel, I actually bought a new one recently, last year, and got it working. <clears throat> but, you know, I never kept my ZX printer. The only thing I kept was the my ZX81 and a new housing. So I'm kind of sad that I got rid of all that stuff. You know, when you're young, you don't think about these things. But uh, it looks like I was doing some sort of 3D game-ish thing. And there's a listing here called Bobsled, <clears throat> uh, which is right here. It's called Bobsled. So, but it doesn't look like that was a machine code. But if I go further in here, you'll see that uh, here's a, this looks like a machine code loader. Um <clears throat> But uh, then I have this stuff here. I've got three sheets of this. This is number three, and I've got one and two. And I don't know where I would have got this from, but this is some sort of hexadecimal listing of code. And so I know I don't remember writing this kind of stuff. I don't think my... So my little assembler that I wrote, um, the way it worked is it used the REM statement, which was common in the day. And it actually would grow the REM statement and then stick stuff inside. And I believe it might have stored its code in the REM, in REM statements as well. I'm going to try to uh, re resuscitate that. Now, the problem is, even with this thing, uh, I'm working on this right now, which is a Sony uh, cassette deck. But it's op opened up and broken. So I think the belt, uh, I, and I ordered a belt for it. So until I have that, I can't try to recover my tape. I've tried to recover it on other cassette decks, and it doesn't work. So I'm working on that, but um, this is only eight-line program, so I'm, I don't have the RAM pack in, so I could probably leave this on running for a day or two, and it should be fine. I don't think the ZX81 times 1000 overheats. Maybe I'll fix that and then try to save um, the program onto here on the tape. In any case, that's what I'm working on right now. Again, Mastering Machine Code. Let me know if you had this book and how you liked it. It's by Tony Baker. But this was, you know, this kind of changed my life. When I found out there was a second language in the computer, it just, I was like, what? So, yeah. Uh, so that's what I'm doing on a rainy summer day. And uh, so I'll end here. Thanks for joining me, and I'll see you next time.